My name is Anthony Dilberg, and I am a United States Marine Corps veteran, a certificated private pilot, a certificated remote pilot, and I have completed my courses for a bachelor's in aviation management. I am making this video in response to the current Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, or NPRM, for Unmanned Aerial Systems, or UAS, Remote Identification. This NPRM, as it is written, simply put, would be the destruction of the model aviation hobby. Specifically, it would prohibitively increase costs, infringe on the privacy rights of UAS pilots and operators, eliminate the ability for amateur and hobbyist built craft, and it restricts the hobbyist from flying on their own property. As a manned aviator, I understand the potential hazards of UAS must be considered, but as a U.S. pilot, I understand the potential hazards have been greatly exaggerated. Exaggerated through repeated media reports of drones without any video or photographic evidence, sketchy eyewitnesses, and fancy videographic overlays with completely inaccurate information. In reality, the great hobby of model aviation has a long history of safety. The hobby also has a great community of people ranging from all walks of life, from commercial airline pilots to young children just catching the flying bug, from electrical and mechanical engineers to those who have trouble changing the batteries in their TV remotes. There are also recovering addicts, PTSD sufferers, and the physically disabled. These people all share a passion that brings down walls and allows us to forget the differences the media constantly tries to tell us to focus on. It brings people together who would normally never have thought or even imagined they would be friends. It is an extremely helpful and sharing community that is always willing to lend a hand when one of its members are having trouble. This is absolutely not limited to modeling issues. There are countless stories of community members lending a hand in nearly any way you can imagine. From assistance moving furniture to rallying for the assistance to cover funeral costs. The way the NPRM is currently written would eliminate this great community. As it is written, the NPRM would introduce a monthly service, a service requirement that would include service fees. Fees that would be assessed per model aircraft. This is simply not feasible for many in the community. This monthly service fee 
would also come along with data tracking that not only would be able to be sold by the third-party corporations, but also would be publicly available. This would open UAS pilots to privacy concerns as well as safety issues stemming from media-driven drone hysteria. Perhaps the biggest issue with the current NPRM is that it eliminates the hobbyists' ability to design and build their own models. This would prevent nearly the entire model aviation hobbyist community from flying their models. As an FPV multi-rotor pilot, none of my aircraft are bought pre-built or come in kit form. My UAS aircraft are hand-built by me from parts strategically picked by me. As I built each of them, I have learned more about electronics, aerodynamics, and mechanical engineering. Each is built for a different style of flight, for different roles. None of these aircraft can be found in any storefront, whether it be brick and mortar or on the internet. Under the current NPRM, not only my ability to continue learning, but also those whose interest in aviation is being sparked through UAS STEM programs. Schools and youth learning programs across the country would no longer be able to use model aviation as a teaching tool. Finally, the current NPRM restricts those pilots that fly models that cannot comply with remote identification to FAA re recognized identification areas, or FRIAs. This means that I and many others would not be able to fly on our own property and would be restricted to flying fields that would intentionally go away over time and never come back. I live on 20 acres surrounded by several vacant 30 to 60 acre lots located under Class Golf or Class G airspace. When I fly my FPV multirotors at home, I am not a threat or bothering anyone in any way. There is no reason I should not be able to fly my models I build on my own land outside controlled airspace. Likewise, there is no reason anyone else should not be able to fly under similar circumstances. The current NPRM is a drastic overreach that will restrict an entire hobby and industry out of existence. <laughs>